In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate normal theory, normal distribution theory confidence intervals for a proportion. Unfortunately, in SPSS, you can't do this through the menu options, to my knowledge. On the other hand, you can do it with a syntax file that's been created by Bruce Weaver from the University of Lakehead or Lakehead University. So in order to do the analysis, you have to go to his web page and get this, which is up here as URL. And then you click on this highlighted portion here, and you will end up getting a syntax file that looks like this. And what you have to do is you have to input the data here that corresponds to the number of observations and the total number of observations possible. So this is the number of observations, total observations possible and the level of confidence which is 95% here. You can put 90% which in this example from Bruce Weaver's syntax file he's got 90. You can also specify 99% here. For this example I just want to show you what I did to get the 95% confidence intervals associated with the 7 out of 10 that my ex-girlfriend got in terms of taste testings. So you can delete all the other examples from the Bruce Weaver syntax and then replace 81 with 7 and 263 with 10 and leave 0.95 as your level of confidence that you want. So it's 7 out of 10 which is a proportion of 0 0.70 and then run and you end up getting this uh, output file which is a bit long. Now it's been shown that Wilson's confidence intervals tend to be the most accurate so I'd recommend that you kind of ignore a lot of this information so this is the number of successes or observations, number of trials, so 7 out of 10, and the proportion is 0 0.70, and the confidence level was specified at 0.95, which is 95%. And I would encourage you to scroll all the way down to the Wilson lower and upper. And here's 0.3968, which is equivalent to what was reported in the textbook, uh, rounded to whatever decimal places it was in the textbook. And here's 0.89. Uh, which I think is what you see. So it's 0.40 to 0.89 that is shown in the textbook. That is basically how you can calculate 95% confidence intervals easy enough with the syntax file.